All right. Rolling. Are you ready? Rolling. Okay, good. All right, first of all, there's a huge crowd out there. This is this is a big, exciting night. Yeah. How excited are you for this? I'm very excited. Um, obviously, it's been a minute since I've played in Los Angeles, and it, this is kind of a different concert. It's all acoustic, so I'm, I'm really excited. And this whole UNICEF thing, this is such a great deal. It's not new for you. You've done this before. Being part of UNICEF and doing this special show, what does that mean to you? I just, I mean, I, I get to, I talk about UNICEF all the time. I, I obviously work with them very closely. I've been able to take trips with them. I'm fully aware of the company, and I know my fans know the foundation, but it's just nice to be able to do something that's fun for the, the organization, have my fans come out, be more intimate, have them ask me questions, talk about UNICEF, and all the money, every single ticket sold goes to UNICEF. So. Wow, very cool. Yeah. What can we expect? More details from the show. It's acoustic, but what else? What kind of songs? What are you doing? It's, uh, I have no set list, so the crowd will be picking my set list, wow. and my band is fully prepared. So they know all my songs, so whatever song they throw at us, if we're down to play it, if we're ready to play it, we'll play it. And we're doing two covers, and uh, Big Time Rush, I'll be doing a song with them so very cool so those are the special guests we've heard about yes. any other surprises anyone could look forward to no we yeah, have noah who, I'm, who you can find him on youtube he's such uh -huh. an incredible artist and i love him so i asked him to come and i'm really close with carlos from big time rush so i asked if they could I, i've done a show with them before and their fans are amazing so i was yeah. like you should totally come to a show so. very cool yeah. and you're doing songs from your whole catalog you've already have so many great records talk about your music and how it's kind of progressed what people could look forward to this year because uh, every album gets better and better thank you uh it's it's kind of everywhere. It's sporadic. My music really is. I, I started off with my first record, and that had naturally on it, and that kind of was the launch pad, really, for me to want to be creative when it comes to like the dance kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. So then it just kind of snowballed from there. I've been really lucky. My my songs are really fun. They're just mainly have a message that's really low key, that's fun, that's just in high spirits. So it's just it's good. Yeah, and you're getting on a plane almost right away for this big Latin American tour, right? Yes, I leave tomorrow. Wow, what can people expect for that? That's going to be, you're going all over the place. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so nervous because I do not like flying. So we'll be flying everywhere. Um, that'll be about three weeks. And wow. this show's different from what I did in the U.S. and Canada. So I'll have all new wardrobe. My dancers will have all new wardrobe. It's a different set. We'll be doing some fun covers and even acoustic things. So if anything, I think South America is going to get a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, it should be fun. Yeah. Well, this is a big deal. Wizards just ended. That was huge. Big deal in our household. Yeah. How big of a deal is that for you to have that? Everything, everything. I, I give so much credit. I don't mind being pigeon held or being in that category as a quote unquote Disney kid. I really do think it was a blessing. I loved the experience. I was able to grow. Alex is a huge part of me. She's fun. She's feisty. And hopefully I'll be able to play something like that again. But it was good. It was a mm -hmm. good experience. You know, having that done, what kind of doors does that open? What does this next year hold for you? Acting-wise, movie-wise. I'll be taking a break from music after South America, and I'm going to go to Florida to do a film called Spring Breakers. And that one actually wasn't just kind of gifted to me. I had to. I flew to Nashville. I met Harmony, who is the director, and I auditioned for him. I told him how much I, I wanted to be a part of the script, and I was really, you know, I practiced everything. I, I watched all of his movies and. And sure enough, I got the part after a couple of stuff, so it was good. Very good, very good. And just the thing you're looking most forward to now in the new year, if you can put into words, Selena Gomez, 2012. Uh, lighter. Lighter. I'm so, I'm just, I'm in my head all the time. I'm right. overthinking. I have anxiety, so I just want to be lighter. Just very good. Fun. All right, well, we'll wish, we'll wish you a light, good okay. year. Good, thank you. We'll do a quick <laughs> little hello to Mario and to Cam, if you don't mind, we'll do a little course, thing. yeah. Let's do, um, okay. Yeah, that's right, Mario. I'm here with Selena Gomez, who's kicking off her big Latin American tour with us. Yes, I am. Hello. <laughs> you're not here right now, but I miss you, and I hope you're doing well. <laughs> and one more thing, if you could just say, in, uh, and this is the extra music mix. Okay. And yeah, this hey, is, oh, no, I'm kidding. sorry. I'll say, I'll say something and first. And this is the <laughs> extra music mix. <laughs> right, right after I my told thing. you yeah. I'm bad. After I say hi to Mario, yeah. Yeah, hey, Mario. I'm here with the one and only Selena Gomez. And this is the extra music mix. Very nice. Thank you very much. Acoustic 
concert all benefiting UNICEF, the proceeds benefiting UNICEF. So guys, thank you so much for coming out. Can we, uh, can we make some noise for Big Time Rush and Noah Guthrie? And now it's time to get to the main event. I do want to say, she and her band are quite amazing. They have two songs on the countdown. They're both in the top ten. That's how amazing they are. Hit the likes and love you like a love song. If you want to find out where they are, make sure to tune in tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. for Radio Disney's Top 30 Countdown. And we'll find out where they are together. If you're not an early riser, we replay it on Sunday, 11 a.m. And without further ado, guys, I'm going to get up from her chair. Please make a ton of noise for Selena Gomez and the scene! Show. So I hope that's okay with you that we're just going to kind of chill and just be together tonight. So you guys are here because of a very important cause that is close to my heart, and that's UNICEF. And I've been working with UNICEF since 2009, and the organization really is beautiful, and they do great things. They do wonderful things for kids all over the world. So thank you so much for contributing and being here for that. So the best part about this is we don't really have a schedule, so you guys can tell us what you want to hear and we'll play it. You guys can ask questions, you can make this really fun and personal because we're just hanging out with you guys. So what do y'all want to hear first? Not not the obvious one. Get a little get a little creative. What do y'all want to hear? Naturally it is, it's Thank you. 